In a surprising turn of events, Safari has turned the tables on his ex-partner Erica Mina, following her recent accusations of his parental negligence. The real reason behind Safari's limited time with his children has come to light, and it's not what anyone expected. Apparently, Erica's alleged racist behavior is the root cause of Safari's distance. Despite having biracial children and a relationship with a black man, Erica has been accused of making derogatory comments about black people. This shocking revelation has left many wondering about the complexities of their relationship. The first whispers of Erica's controversial behavior surfaced when her Love & Hip Hop co-star, Spice, called her out for using a racial slur and wishing harm upon her. Unfortunately, the ensuing backlash didn't seem to change Erica's attitude. Now, Erica finds herself embroiled in another racism scandal, this time involving an actor from her upcoming reality show. The situation has escalated to legal action, with the actor filing a lawsuit against her. For those unfamiliar with the latest drama, it all unfolded a few weeks ago. Aeon Plummer, a cast member of Erica's new Zeus Network dating show, Two Ways with Erica Mina, has brought serious allegations to the forefront. Although the show is still in production without a set release date, it's already generating buzz for all the wrong reasons. As we delve deeper into this developing story, it's clear that Aeon Plummer's involvement is crucial to understanding the full scope of the situation. But who exactly is Aeon, and what led to this explosive legal battle? He recently went viral after appearing on the popular YouTube series, Pop the Balloon or Find Love. His goal was to find love, but things took a humiliating turn when none of the women showed any interest in him, making it painfully obvious in the most embarrassing ways. To make matters worse, the video gained massive traction, catching the attention of his employers, who decided to fire him from his plumbing job. So now, not only has he become an internet meme, but he's also unemployed and still single. Erica noticed his viral fame and invited him to join her dating show, seemingly to ride the wave of his newfound clout. However, instead of offering him the respect he deserved, Aaron alleges that Erica went out of her way to belittle him, specifically targeting him because of his race. According to Aaron, Erica has no respect for black men and made life unbearable for every black man on the show during filming. He even claims that Erica exploited and assaulted him, and when he tried to report her actions to the producers, they merely dismissed his concerns and told him to toughen up. I'm Aaron the Plumber. I got exploited, looking for love once again. I came on Erica's two ways um, with Erica Mena. I had the show cracking. I was doing some real punching, you know, and they twisting up. They're going to try to twist up the narrative and try to make it seem like I'm transphobic. Um, I'm, I'm emotional and a multitude of other things. That's not true. I left the show. They want me to come back on the show. I got all the receipts. I don't want to get back on the show because Erica Mena is, in fact, racist towards black men. She been disrespecting black men from day one on that show. People been leaving the show not wanting nothing to do with her because she's so disrespectful. Her mouth. They're going to try to paint me out to be a transphobe. I'm telling y'all ahead of time, I love all people of all creeds. I am not transphobic. I am not homophobic. Anything. I'm filing charges on Erica Mena right now for us, right now. It's crazy that if I would have put my hands on her, you know, they would have been calling for me to get canceled. They would have done everything they could. I'd have been in jail, the most talked about thing on the internet. But because it's a black man and a woman did something to me, you know, you guys are making jokes about it. If I put any blemishes on a woman's face, you know, you guys would be on here going crazy, going nuts. And it's crazy because what y'all don't understand is, bro, this has been so depressing, bro. This shit been so stressful on me, bro. Like, my life changed overnight off a viral moment, bro. I didn't know what I was really signing up for, bro. This shit got to contemplate suicide and some more shit, bro. This shit hurt, bro. I didn't ask for none of this, bro. I came on the internet being my self. Bruh, and, and and I didn't ask for this, bruh. I didn't want this. You feel me, bruh? I did not, bruh. Real talk. I was just looking for somebody. Initially, Erica had been vocal about Safari's supposed shortcomings as a father. However, the tables turned dramatically when it came to light that Safari's limited involvement with their children stemmed from a desire to distance himself from Erica's troubling behavior. The crux of the matter? Allegations of Erica's racist tendencies, which seem particularly jarring given that she herself is the mother of biracial children. This wasn't the first time such accusations had surfaced. 
Previously, Erica's love and hip-hop co-star Spice had called her out for using derogatory language, referring to her as a blue monkey and even wishing death upon her. One might have expected such a public call-out to prompt a change in Erica's behavior. Unfortunately, it appears the lesson went unlearned. Now, Erica finds herself embroiled in yet another racism-related lawsuit, this time involving an actor from her upcoming reality show. The controversy centers around a new dating show on the Zeus network, titled Two Ways with Erica Mina. While still in production and without a set release date, the show has already generated buzz, but not the kind its creators likely hoped for. Here at the police department in LA, about to go file charges on Erica Mina for her soul. They don't try to protect this woman. Uh, the, the, one of, the, one of the, these network executives told me out of his own mouth that he got, you know, TMZ and several other companies up under his payroll and he gonna suppress me from getting my story heard. But my thing to say to this gentleman is, you're gonna suppress a black man, one of your own kind, from letting the truth be heard about him being a after you witnessed that. And Erica Mena has been canceled for calling somebody a blue monkey. So here she is again, and been disrespecting black men in front of your face. And that's something you support, that's something you support, that's something your network supports. Well, I'm not going for that. I'm standing on business behind this. When their first child was born, Safari's absence at the hospital became a point of contention. Erica, feeling abandoned, took to social media to air her grievances, branding Safari a neglectful father. Enter Spice, once a close friend to both Erica and Safari. As the couple's relationship deteriorated, Spice found herself caught in the crossfire. Her decision to side with Safari during the disputes infuriated Erica, setting the stage for their explosive confrontation. Adding fuel to the fire, Safari began a relationship with Amara La Negra, another love and hip-hop cast member and a close friend of Spice. Amara, however, later claimed that her involvement with Safari was merely a storyline for the show, nothing more. I've been single since the father of my kids, and I haven't had since the father of my kids. I get hired to do my job and I do what I have to do. I do it well, we have good ratings. And with that being said, I have accomplished my- Although Amara later revealed that their relationship was purely for the show's storyline, Erica's jealousy had already been ignited. Behind the scenes, however, a different narrative was unfolding. Spice had apparently seen evidence that contradicted Erica's public claims. Safari had been consistently paying child support and checking on his children's well-being. Moreover, Erica was allegedly still intimate with Safari while publicly denouncing him. The tension reached a boiling point when Safari publicly supported Spice during a health scare. Erica, feeling slighted, couldn't understand why he showed such concern for Spice, but had been absent during her childbirth. In an attempt to resolve their issues, love and hip-hop producers arranged a sit-down between Erica and Spice. It was during this televised confrontation that Erica's racist remarks came to light, leading to her dismissal from the show and widespread condemnation. At the time, any woman would, would have. And why? Why would you come You're there? friends and he felt that wife. way. I was his wife and he felt nothing. That don't have nothing to do with me if he felt nothing for you. Like, so it's just confusing. So you're like, telling why? me, if you, you know, were in my shoes, you're telling me you wouldn't feel no type of way as a it, woman? What, what do you mean if I was in your shoes? In what if way? What you, do you mean? If, because if I feel you like your me, problem is, Erica, you feel like you're the first woman to be divorced. That's the problem. Really? I feel like you're acting like you're the first woman to be divorced and you're the first woman that's left with two children mm -hmm. to fend for. I've been doing it for 14 years. Welcome to the club. Girl, I've been doing it for nowhere, 16. Okay? 16. At some point during the heated conversation, Erica completely lost her cool and flipped the table on Spice, unleashing her rage in the most shocking way. This was the moment when Erica's racism truly came to light. She crossed an unforgivable line by wishing death upon Spice, cruelly stating that she should have died when she was ill. The whole incident was a chilling display of Erica's true colors, and it left everyone stunned by her blatant and hateful outburst. That should have died! You wanna mention my kid? You should have died! Y'all open the Door. Let me out! Right. Let me out! Your son hates you! Your son hates you! You monkey! You blue monkey! Eric, I cannot believe you. You just called this girl a monkey and then said she should have died. You should have died! Come on. Sir, if you're right, so far is your karma! And now we f tomorrow. I told you, say never like, I like f girls. 
You piece of trash. You don't <laughs> eat in the car. <laughs> We hearing that she wish I died on the table and giving me all these racial slurs. Now that the real Erica is out, it just proved to me that Safari wasn't even lying. In the Behind the scenes, Spice and Safari had apparently shared some revealing information. Safari provided evidence that Erica was still intimate with him, despite publicly labeling him a deadbeat dad. He also showed proof of his financial support and concern for his children's well-being. The situation took an unexpected turn when Spice faced a health crisis. Safari's public display of support for Spice during her hospitalization further angered Erica, who felt slighted by his lack of presence during her childbirth. These tensions culminated in a televised confrontation on love and hip-hop, where Erica's alleged racist comments towards Spice came to light. This wasn't an isolated incident, though. Reports surfaced of Erica using similar derogatory language in the past, including incidents with Johnny Blaze and a club promoter. The fallout from these events was significant. Erica lost her spot on Love and Hip Hop and turned to Zeus Network for a new show. However, her fresh start seems to be marred by the recent lawsuit alleging racial discrimination. Safari's perspective on the situation has reportedly shifted. He's now said to be willing to see his children, but wants to avoid contact with Erica due to her alleged racist behavior. So before you guys get scammed like I did <laughs> by this waste man overnight wannabe prophet, this individual has no idea that his children has, has actually started school. Yeah, your daughter is officially in pre-K and started yesterday. And here I am feeling guilty because I wasn't there due to work. And while I'm feeling guilty, out here trying to make the world believe that they actually have a charity because they care about other people's children. How can you care about anybody else's children when you don't even care about your own? You miss out on birthdays by choice. You miss out on Christmas by choice. All because you think missing out in their lives makes me suffer. Wake up call. Back in 2015, long before the spat with Spice, Erica had already drawn criticism for comparing Johnny Blaze to a monkey. In another incident, she was overheard making racially charged comments about a club promoter using phrases like, I don't like working with these black monkeys, and I don't usually do business with these black monkeys. These revelations paint a troubling picture of long-standing prejudices. The fallout from these incidents led to Erica's departure from love and hip-hop, pushing her to seek new opportunities with Zeus Network. However, her attempt at a fresh start seems to be faltering, with a racism lawsuit already looming over her new show. Safari, Erica's ex and father of her children, has apparently had his eyes open to the extent of Erica's racial biases. While he's reportedly willing to see his kids, he's reluctant to interact with Erica herself. This has led to a public spectacle, with Erica lashing out on social media about Safari's alleged absence from their children's lives. While Safari seems unfazed, posting about his global adventures. The public reaction to this ongoing drama has been mixed. Some fans express shock, while others claim they've seen this behavior from Erica for years. One commenter suggested that Erica likes the culture, not black people, implying she might give a pass to lighter-skinned individuals. Another observer noted Erica's consistent pattern of aggression and confrontation, suggesting she appropriates black culture while feeling superior to black people. What are your thoughts on these latest revelations? Do you believe Safari's distance is truly motivated by Erica's alleged racism? How might this affect their children moving forward?